In Truro, along the beautiful bluffs overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, stands the abandoned North Truro Air Force Station. Built in 1951 as a response to the Russian testing of their first atomic bomb, the North Truro Air Force Station became one of the first radar listening stations to monitor for the Soviet bombers. The station was decommissioned in 1994 upon the end of the Cold War, and most of the land was sold to the National Park Service as part of the Cape Cod National Seashore. The station is now a collection of rundown barracks, officers quarters, technical buildings and offices, as well as a bar and a bowling alley. Nearly all of the other buildings contain asbestos and mold and are too hazardous to enter. The neighborhoods, or family housing, have been mostly untouched since they were built in the 1950s, and since the exteriors are made of weather-resistant asbestos tiles, they're likely to remain so. The grounds, for the most part, remain uncared for, probably for health reasons. This area is basically frozen in time. Despite the hazards, it hasn't stopped the kids from hanging out and doing what kids do.
The National Seashore has been awarded more than $1 million for the demolition of a dozen abandoned buildings. All these buildings have asbestos siding and pesticide laden foundations. A small area of the base is now home to the FAA Long Range Radar Site. The FAA Tower has become a navigation aid to local fishermen and is known as the Golf Ball. To the left of the golf ball is the Jenny Lynn Tower. To the left of that is Highland Light. From 2012 to 2013, the former air station was home to a Department of Energy study on air particles over the region conducted by the Atmospheric Radiation Measurement Climate Research Facility, along with the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. <music> 